thanks for joining me today. Oh, it's all about the Trusty 3 series. Not so trusty anymore. We've got a problem, and it's a big one. The timing chain is broken. At least I think that's what it is. Um, I'll show you why I think that's what it is. It's been getting noisier. Over the last four years, it's been steadily getting a little rattly at the back there. <laughs> Um, but I thought, you know, I'll keep it going, I'll keep using it, I'll keep trying it, and when it breaks, we'll fix it. <laughs> um, <laughs> we're like leaving it till the last minute. It would have been a lot easier to change it with it not being broken. This is going to have done probably a little bit of valve damage, rocker damage, maybe. Um, so we've got to do a strip down on it and find out what's what. Let's just have a quick look, and I'll tell you how I think the chain's broke. Now if I pop the cap off the oil filler there and shine a torch inside it, you can actually see the camshaft on the top. When we spin the engine, if that doesn't move, we know the, drive, the drivetrain, the chain at the back has broken and it's not rotating the cams. Um, so yeah, let's have a quick look and I'll just show you what I mean. Now it's a bit of a state in there. That oil looks in pretty bad condition, but you can see that we're spinning it over. There's nothing moving at all in there. And if we look really closely, you can see that is the rocker on top of the valve. That should be moving up and down when you turn the engine and it's not. So we know it's where we've got big problems. Yeah, that horrible sound. That's like no compression. It's just compressing on one piston that's not, um, the valves are not moving and they're closed. And that's that sort of sound you get in. The rest of them are not doing a thing. Uh, so we've got, to, we've got to strip this. The only way to get this chain done, we've got to take the engine out. The chain is at the back. Um, it's a big old job, but I think we'll get it done. Let's go for it. We'll strip it all out. We'll get rid of the scuttle. We'll get rid of all the panels, um, uh, drain the coolant out of it. And uh, yeah, let's uh, get the engine out. <laughs> now, this is the first time I've attempted to do uh, a timing chain on a N47 BMW. Um, not that I've never done a timing chain before, Back in the day, 30 years ago, I worked at BMW. I was a mechanic and technician at BMW. So we're going to learn together on this. We've got a bit of background knowledge. The last engine I actually rebuilt on a BMW was a, a 540 V8. Um, and we had to do a change the block and piston. So it was a full old strip down. But that was, like I say, a long while ago. So I'm looking forward to getting stuck in on this one. It's, it's a job, like I say, that's been brewing. And I knew it was coming. Um, and I knew it would make a good video. So I've kind of wanted to leave it and let it break. But I didn't want to leave the oil like that. I mean, I've missed a service. I must have missed, a, I think that oil's been in for two years, um, which is really you know, bad. So, you know, fancy doing that. So I'm going to have to clean all that down, give it a really good clean, um, and put it right. I think it's doable, though. We should be able to get this back up and running. Um, yeah, so there'll be some good videos. This is going to be part one, um, and we're going to have to do it in a few different parts. I don't know how many parts, <laughs> it could be a few. Um, but yeah, let's get stuck in and learn together. And um, we've got the e-manual as well for all the torque settings and everything. So I'll put links in the description for all the bits and pieces we're going to use. Uh, yeah, and we'll get stuck in in the next video. So uh, yeah, enjoy it. Drop me a little thumbs up. Subscribe. Subscription's free. So just give that subscribe button a click. And um, yeah, let's uh, stay in with the story. And hopefully we can get this back up and running without too much trouble. See you in the next video. <laughs> Be a good day.